Welcome to Therapy Through Cards. In today's reading, we're going to be looking at why the month of June is one of your best months this year. I always listen to Spirit when I choose the topics that I want to talk about in my pick a card readings and Spirit said to me that June is a really, really good month. So I know that it won't be good for everyone, but if you're led to this video, there is something very significant about June that is really, really positive and makes this month amazing. And that's what we're going to be exploring here, okay? So big energy is going to come through. If you guys don't know how I work, I'm very clairsentient, which means I feel the energies deeply, okay? I feel them, they come to life. I basically can tap into your energy really, really well. So what we're going to do, we've got three piles here. I want you to choose a pile that you're drawn to. The pile that catches your eye first will be the pile with your messages. So pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So choose your pile and let's get into it. Okay, if you chose pile number one, Welcome to your reading. You chose the gold bag. Okay, so in today's pick a card reading, we are going to be looking at why June is one of your best months this year. And we have a little intuitive message in here, which I'm going to share with you. When I feel the time is right, we're going to be using Oracle, Tarot, and a lot of other intuitive messages. And most of all, my channeling. So let's get into it, part number one. I'm going to tap into your energy. I am going to shuffle on camera because I love to do it that way. It just helps me get into your energy. And the way all the cards connect is just so magical. And that's why I always shuffle on camera. Okay, so part number one. Why is June one of your best months this year? Let's see. And it's funny because I'm, I'm going to be putting this video out a little this video out a little bit later but it's just I got a channel a channel that something big is going to happen in June for you guys so let's tap into it all right we have I'm not I'm not going to read the cards yet I'm channeling so let's see let's see let's see okay I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of like manifestation energy like you guys are wands energy if you guys don't know tarot it's uh Wands is like a suit and tarot. It's fiery. It's passionate. It's uh, setting something into motion. It's the initiator. That's what I always say that wands is. It's fire. So some of you guys are feeling really motivated. You may be feeling like you want to get things done in June. And that's probably why this month is really significant. Because you're finally getting off your ass and you're doing something. Um, it could also mean that. You actually, if you're already doing something, pile number one, I just got the chariot. It's really interesting because when I channel, I'll get tarot cards that pop up in my mind. So it'll be interesting to see if you get those tarot cards. So chariot came on into my mind. So you guys are charging ahead. If you're already really busy, I think you're just going to continue to be very busy. You may be picking up momentum, picking up momentum, like... If things have been a little bit slow, if things aren't really going anywhere, oh my goodness, that that's going to change. It's going to change big time for you. I am sensing, oh, what is it? Like, no one can tie you down from something that has your attention or has your focus. It's really expansive energy as well. I'm sensing you are very it's it's funny because this energy guys is if you've been uncertain if you've been unsure if you guys have felt like some sort of self-doubt in the previous months this year there is something that you're really really certain about there is something that you're really like you know will be successful this is the biggest channel that i'm getting and i think this is probably the most important message and why june is really important because there is something that you have it could be a vision. It could be you just see into the future and you can see that something's going to be really successful. Okay. Uh, we'll have a look. We'll dive deep into what that is, but that's really significant. Knowing that something's going to be successful and putting your effort and everything into it. You know, this doesn't have to be career or business. This could be you really finding out that there's like the self-care i'm just saying it's funny because i could see the self-love there's this self-care routine or practice that you find is really really 
it's benefiting you and you're seeing results. And so uh, there's something that works, that you know that works and you're doing it. But there's also this vision that you have of yourself or something that you're doing in the future that is going to be successful. And it's really hard for people to be certain about something that is going to work for them in the future because it hasn't happened yet. But for some reason, it's almost like you've jumped into the future. You've seen, what is it? Like you've seen yourself doing, I don't know what it is. It could be anything, okay? It's almost like you having a look at yourself and you can see that something's working and it was a success. And now you just have to knuckle down and do everything that you need to do to to make that a reality. Um, I just want to get into the cards and I want to see what it is because this is like huge. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. You know what? Before I turn over your cards, I will pull more cards if I feel drawn to power number one. But I am going to have a look at your intuitive message because Spirit's telling me, turn, it, turn me over now. I want to I want to be seen. I want to be seen. So let's have a look. Let's see. Why is June one of your best months? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> oh, far out. Okay. This can mean a number of things. We'll have to have a look at the cards. But what I'm channeling is that you think there is something out there that is beautiful I'm getting like a beautiful painting a beautiful picture a beautiful just a picture in your mind that is so beautiful also you may be looking quite beautiful people may be thinking that you are just stunning okay physical beauty definitely coming through but I am sensing most of all with this beautiful keyword is you are finding out how beautiful you are especially with the self-love here okay <laughs> and you may think oh that's not that big of a deal wow okay but no all right if you get a stronger concept of yourself and who you are that is one of the most empowering and positive oh god things that you can do for yourself is that self-belief. So self-belief is going to be huge here, especially with the wands energy. If you know and believe in something that is possible, okay, okay, it doesn't have to be, I'm trying to give you examples, okay? For some of you, you may think, you know, I am worthy of a job offer. I'm worthy of a different job. And then you have this utter self-belief and it comes from loving yourself. Whenever you think something is possible, it's because you know in yourself that you're deserving of it. So that is huge here. So it could be you want a different job. You want to work for yourself. You want a certain type of relationship. There is something, okay, something that you finally, finally in the month of June realize that you're worthy of having. And it makes you so beautiful. And it makes you beautiful to other people as well. When, when we know what we like and we're certain in ourself and we're constant and I don't say certain in an arrogant way. I mean certain in the way that we are deserving of it. We um but we're also open to growth, okay? We're also open to growth and we're also open to learning about ourselves. There's there's also that there's also that aspect that's coming in as well. I'm channeling that you guys have deeply done the inner work. You've deeply are growing, you're deeply like knowing yourself. And that's also self-love here. And it's interesting because the self-card love is the first card that popped up. So when there is a card that faces up, it, it's the card that wants to be seen. It's the, the card with the most energy. So your self-love card is dominating your whole spread here, part number one. So, so much more love for yourself. And oh, that, that is going to open up doors. That is going to open up connections, opportunities, knowing you're worthy. Manifestations are going to come to light. Like this is why June is so big it's because you know you're worthy of whatever it is that you can picture in your mind or you can vision you guys may be very big visionaries but let's have a look at your cards i'm excited let's have a look uh okay i'm gonna try and be very precise with your readings because i don't want to do a two-hour reading today i just want to do very precise to the point 
But nonetheless, we're going to get amazing, amazing messages. So look at this, pound number one. Try not to worry. We'll bring helpful people into your life. Okay? Beautiful. And it's interesting. I am seeing something here. Very magical. Okay? Look at this. If I put this card upside down, what is it? Can you see the numbers? All right. So we have here 19 and 61. But if I turn this card upside down, we have 61, 61. Can you see that? So, oh, I don't know. There's just some really big connection here that I'm going to tap into in a bit. In a bit. Uh, but you may be right now a little bit worried. Okay, you're worried about, you know, I need a team or I need people to, to help me with my goals or whatever kind of action that you want to um, put out there. Because I feel like you have a vision. And I'm kind of relating to this myself because I, I have a vision as well. I, I don't know whether this reading's for me, but I'm just, I'm putting through, like I'm getting a lot of fast messages for you. And this is exactly what the chariot is all about. <laughs> Very fast paced energy into the direction of your destination. So you're going towards something, a destination. And I'm sort of sensing here that spirit is saying, don't worry, keep going with the self-love. And once you build that self-love, which you will have in abundance in June, this card is going to finally turn upside down. And you're probably like, upside down, oh no, that's not a good energy. But it's almost telling me that this is these people are going to turn your world upside down in a very good way. Okay, in a very positive way. You know what? I'm just going to leave it there. 61, 61. It's a really unusual number to see because it's a higher, higher number. So when you get higher numbers, it's harder to see patterns of those numbers. But 61 is a very important number. Okay, you may be 61. I don't know. It's just very important for you. All right, let's keep going. This is really interesting. So people are going to come to you to help you. Indecision, okay, maybe to help you make a choice. All right, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of trees here as well, for sure. So in June, people are going to come to you and they're going to help you with making very important decisions in your life. Because it's interesting because this tree is like really, it's kind of looks a little bit dead. You know, it's not fully alive. It's not blossoming. And it's almost like this tree is very blossomed. It's it's healthy. So these people are healthy and they're going to help you make really important decisions. Beautiful. Ascended Masters. I am so glad that you have this card. It is. Okay. Part number one. To have the Ascended Masters would instantly make a month in your year the best month ever. Because Ascended Masters, they're powerful, <laughs> powerful beings that help look after us, okay? And I always see them as they can be your spirit team, they can be your spirit guides, but they are bigger than that. Like, they're, they're, <sighs> you don't have Ascended Masters with you unless you have a purpose in this lifetime. So you guys do have a purpose. And I'm not... I'm not surprised. If you have a vision that something is working out, it's probably because your Ascended Masters are with you and they are tr giving you downloads of this. This may be the work of your Ascended Masters hanging around you. That is why you see in the future that something can become really big, successful, work out. To have that sense of belief, I think it's tied from the energy of your Ascended Masters working with you. And it's really interesting because we have a number sequence here. If you don't know how I work, I work with number sequences. That's what Spirit tells me. We have seven and eight. So the Ascended Masters will help you make these decisions. These are not just light decisions, guys. These are huge decisions. That's what I'm feeling because it's the center of your reading. It's like huge. Huge. Okay, let's go. Revolution. Wow, I said that really loud, but that's that's big. That's big energy as well. Uranus. You may have Uranus in your chart. Uh, but there is a big change coming as well. Revolution. Breakthroughs. Brainstorming. Originality. Insight. Awakening. Technology. Innovation. Humanitarianism. Reform. You're changing something. And it's funny because I would expect there to be visionary. I'm kind of getting like, this is your vision that you have. 
Your vision is huge, guys. No wonder you need like a bunch of people to come in and help you. Make that, make your dreams <laughs> come to life or your purpose, guys. I think that's why you have the Ascended Masters coming in because you're revolutionizing something in this life time. Something like maybe there is some sort of technology, okay? You're just creating something that hasn't been done before or there is just something really unique a unique spin put it on but th there is something really unusual okay and that's why the ascended masters are with you we also have music lovely so music is going to be really important for you you can't see these cards can you let's see you may be in the music industry okay i just got that Music may be big for you. Uh, this may be where you make some sort of revolution in the music industry. Or music could be a way to help you, help you boost your energy. Because I always feel like music elevates our energy, okay? We listen to music and for you guys, I kind of sense that maybe you may get your ideas through music. You know, when we listen to music, we can really connect to the melodies. I, for some reason, I am sensing that you may get your ideas or things may come to you while you listen to music. It's just like your whole energy shifts. And I'm like moving as I say this, like my whole body is moving. So you may really connect to music. It may be really important for you. I would suggest finding a really, really um, amazing playlist that really connects to you and your vision. So like that helps motivate you. It like kind of gives you a boost. I'm kind of sensing like once you listen to this music, you're just going to feel unstoppable. It's 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 pretty amazing. Let's have a look. We have the page of cups. We've got inventiveness. Yes. So definitely you could be inventing music. You could be inventing just something with the Uranus energy. It's funny because I always kind of feel like, oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. So we have the Page of Cups, inventiveness, and we've got innovative innovation. So you're definitely inventing something. You're definitely, cre you're probably my creatives here as well. You don't have to be, but to be inventive, you need to have that level of like, uh, it's almost like, Oh, how do you, you have to read energy really well, guys. In order to create, you need to tap into these like energy frequencies, which I think you guys are going to be able to do with the help of the Ascended Masters. But nonetheless, something big here. You may actually have to decide whether you want to start to really act on this. I think you will because I'm already sent, I'm already feeling it when I channeled, like you're going, charging ahead with the chariot towards just making this revolution with this um, inventiveness energy or something that you come up with. Also, pages represent people or messengers. <sighs> what do I think? Let's have a look at this tarot card first. We have the six of wands. Amazing, guys. Look at that. So, okay. So this is you. This is you. Usually, I kind of see with the other cards what tarot card or oracle card represents your energy that I'm reading for, and it's the Page of Cups. Next, definitely next to the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, especially under the indecision, is like you're like, oh, did I make the right decision, or is this what I'm charging ahead? Like, I'm just getting like the chariot is just like okay. If you don't know what the chariot is, it's almost like a cart, like a cart with horses, and it's like charging ahead the path like along the road <laughs> you the decision that you have made is the right one and that's what I want to tell you okay it's it's successful it's <laughs> to have it at the center card like whatever you're trying to create here with the inventiveness it's going to be successful and I this is interesting. I don't feel like this six of wands is you reaping because it can represent recognition, being seen. Look, we've got the star above her head. She's got a number of stars here, which means that she's being 
seen as a star. I think that's going to come in after June, okay? June is where you really, really get down and make the decision to go ahead with whatever you're inventing, whatever revolution you're going to make, change. Uh, and that is just you knowing that it's going to be successful. Remember how I said it was like, you have this knowing or this picture in your head where you can already see yourself in the future being successful or whatever, whatever idea that you have, whatever you're inventing. And that, that's the help with the Ascended Masters. That's what the Six of Wands represents here. So yes, fertility. Okay, definitely. Yeah, fertility. Fertility is about giving birth. You have a lot of trees in your spread. Can you see that? Trees is about planting your seeds. I already feel like you have planted your seeds. I, I, I kind of sense like your tree is now starting to grow and blossom. And when I say tree, I just mean the vision that you have in your head of what you want in your life. Or particularly in this year, because this is a big month. I think that you already kind of have some sort of direction, um, but now it's just about making bigger decisions. Okay. Uh, decisions of how to get to 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 your vision more i just said appro i just got appropriately <laughs> because you really want to make sure that you're taking the right steps and people are going to come in to help you with this remember try not to worry we'll bring you helpful people so watch out for that uh so with the fertility card it's just kind of like you're finally seeing that your tree is growing um, but it's interesting because I kind of feel like this fertility card is more about your self-belief and your self-love. You're just sharing yourself with it. I don't know where all this confidence and this love for yourself is coming from. Um, it could be with the help with the Ascended Masters and the music, or you could just actually be really inspired by your idea or what you want to invent. Okay, let's have a look at this card. Romance. Gorgeous. Okay, romance is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. So, yes, you may be attracting romantic partners, okay? I know that there's not a lot of other cards that represent romance. One, this is romance for yourself, okay? <laughs> like, I definitely feel like it's about you falling in love with yourself, but I also feel like with a beautiful card, other people are going to love this energy that you're in in the month of June. It's almost like... <laughs> they they want to give you a rose because of just like I, I cannot help but feel how much you've grown how much you've done your self-development to get the ascended masters you would have had to really gone through and done all your shadow work really understood all the dark aspects about yourselves okay but not pushing them down and neglecting them just becoming aware of you know yeah I have you know I'm not perfect you know I have issues but still I choose to love myself and that is the motto for you for the month of June I choose I choose to make decisions that are good for me I choose to make this vision in my head a reality I choose to invent what I want like, also, you know, I'm kind of sensing, okay, for some of you, it could just be you having that light bulb here with the lightning, which is what I'm getting, this breakthrough and this brainstorming of like, what am I doing? Hey, hang on. You might actually figure out what your vision is. If some of you guys have no idea, okay, that may be what the revolution is. It's like, oh my goodness, I now know that... I am here to, what's an example? I'm here to <laughs> run a very, very successful global business. That's just an example that came to my mind. Or I know that I am here to help people find out who they truly are and help them live a very inspire, inspiring and uplifting life there's just some sort of like insight that comes to you all of a sudden with the uranus because it's uranus energy is like it comes comes out of nowhere 
And I have it with the Ascended Masters. It's like that flash of insight. It's like, bang, okay, I know I need to make this decision now. It just forces you to make the decision, actually, which is really good decision here with the Six of, six of Wands. Okay, let's get some more messages. Power number one. I am so, like, energized in your energy. So that's the kind of energy you're going to have. You're going to be very, very energized. Let's get a few of these tea leaf oracles, and we'll get your intuitive messages too. Okay, spirit for power number one. What do we have? All right, we have quite a few. Okay, so we have... Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Okay, this is interesting. So you may, like, we also have worry here. We have worry here. But it's interesting how it's, I put it in reverse, didn't I? So you don't need to worry. Some of you guys may be having depression, anxiety. I think that is going to kind of lift itself once you make a decision. Because you know what? Anxiety can be in a state of, like, unknowing like not knowing exactly what's going on and I kind of feel like maybe if some of you guys are feeling depressed and anxious that you, it will be lifted okay all right I'm also sensing that the vulture may be someone in your life okay someone in your life that may be a little bit against you that may not actually see your vision may want to put you down just may not be on your frequency okay I don't think it's going to hold you back, though, especially with that chariot energy. Older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman, okay? So there may be some sort of significance. Some of it might be your mother or it may be your grandmother. There is just some sort of lady that's going to, to play a big role. And it's interesting because older women, they're quite wise. They're quite... Um, for some reason, I feel like this, this energy is going to be supportive. That energy isn't going to be supportive. But you'll know. You'll know. You'll know exactly who to trust it's funny because we have we will bring you helpful people so these may be people that are going to come in and help you we also have the will indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly i love this so what was i saying like you are going to be forced to make a decision you're going to finally see that you don't want your life to ramble aimlessly anymore and that's where you're forced to make a decision okay this is really really amazing and then we have the firecracker bang excitement excitement it's like once you make that decision it's it's almost like guys you finally see something in your mind that is going to be successful or it's going to work out it's almost that energy and it gets you really really excited okay let's get your intuitive messages from spirit pound number one in the month of june why is it one of their most important months Okay, we have, I'm going to get, I'm going to get three. Let's have three. We have, people need your hidden wisdom. Give the world access to your inner world. You're an angel. Wow. That's funny because that's why you have the Ascended Masters. So the Ascended Masters are coming in because you have hidden wisdom that you need to share with the world. So you'll realize this, guys. I think this is the decision you're going to be making, okay? Uh, so you're an angel, Wow, you may have angel guides as well, okay? Let's see. Forgive them and let them go. Okay. So you may need to let... I feel like it's this vulture person, okay? So you'll know who that person is. Someone in your in your space, in your environment that's not good for you. Um, I'm also channeling guys. You may not be depressed or anxious because I don't sense that here as much. I think it's someone in your environment that's ang anxious or just negative energy, okay? Maybe they've done something to you or they're just not the best energy to be around. As we're just saying, just forgive them, okay? We also have life is bigger than your thoughts. Switch to feeling emotions that warm your heart. Love it. I love it so much. And that's what you're going to be doing. Okay. I honestly feel music is going to uplift you. Music may actually paint a picture or vision in your mind. Yeah. And it, this is funny because I just keep, okay, throughout your whole reading pile number one, spirit just keeps giving me the chariot. Okay. If you don't know what that tarot card is, please go after this video and do all your research on the card of the chariot because that is representing your month of june and the chariot has wheels on it like has you know and i just see this wheel going as fast as fast 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 as possible it's just it's just it's spinning around round round and it's just going 
pulling you forward. Okay. Do I want to get one more card for you? Let's see. I sense that I'm going to give you one more card. Okay, Spirit, let's give pile number one one more card. If you believe. Oh, I love it. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, power of belief, right? You will. You will believe in yourself, guys. If you think that you can pull off whatever you're trying to invent here. Oh, only if you believe. But I, I definitely think your um your your belief is gonna be through the roof. Like like I said, confidence. Six of Wands here. You know, you know that it's already achieved, it's already done, it's already is going to be successful. Okay, pile number one, that was your reading. I hope you got something out of those messages. Please leave a comment or a like. Um, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more videos if you liked my energy. And I will see you in another video, I hope. Okay, pile number two, welcome to your reading. <laughs> We are having a look at why the month of June is one of your most successful months this year, okay? We're going to be using tarot, oracle, intuitive messages. I'm also going to be channeling, tapping into your energy because I'm highly clairsentient. We also have this little pocket bag, which has got a little intuitive message, which I'm going to read to you once I feel like the, the time is right, once spirit tells me. But let's tap into your energy. Let's shuffle the cards on camera today and we're going to get your messages, okay? Let me tap into your energy. Let's see. Okay, so it's a little bit more quieter than pile number one, which is good, you know? <laughs> it's funny because you, you pick the angel deck, okay? So these are all, there is a number of angels here and they're helping you with particular areas of your life. So we're going to have a look at the area of your life that is going to be impacted in the month of june okay there's a particular area in your life that you're going to be given guidance to and i think that's going to be pretty big because this is all about why the month of june is really important to you so let's let's get all your cards let me see if i can channel any messages coming through for you we have ah i just got a vision so i do get visions as well a vision of a birthday cake, which makes me kind of feel like maybe some of you guys have birthdays in June. If you do, this message is definitely for you. There is definitely a lot of messages here for you if it is your birthday. Uh, it could be someone else's birthday as well in June. But I just see a cake. I just see uh, celebrating. Yeah. Okay. What else do I see for pile number two? Okay, Spirit just told me. Okay, sometimes I'll just get random auditory messages. So create a vision board. That's what came through. Okay, you need to create a vision board. Maybe some of you guys have lost exactly why or what you're doing in 2022 or what you're trying to accomplish. You know, I mean, I don't think you've lost it, but Spirit is really emphasizing that a vision board could really help you get back into feeling inspired for the rest of the year yeah interesting maybe some of you guys have never done a vision board what else have we got spirit why is june so amazing and successful uh what have we got we've got a lot of okay this your energy is kind of giving me like introspective energy, okay? This isn't the month of going out, uh, being seen, being in everyone's space or expanding your energy. This is seriously about going within yourself. Even though I sense a birthday here and I know that's about like celebrating, but there is something about here going within yourself and Reading, really getting back to who you are and your authentic self, okay? I think for some of you guys maybe a little bit lost or needing to, needing some space or some time out. Like I'm just sensing like stillness, meditation. Maybe some of the other months have been a bit crazy or chaotic and you've kind of just like 
I'm just sensing you guys need a moment to breathe. Like you need a moment to just assess assess how far you've come this year, you know? Maybe some of you guys are being encouraged to kind of have a look back at your vision board if you guys have already created a vision board and be like, hey, how am I progressing? How am I going towards meeting my goals on my vision board? That could possibly be why Spirit wanted. It gave me this vision board. <laughs> uh yeah it's because i'm also getting like reading reading in the bath like just really having your own time to yourself it's it's really really nice and then you think sometimes your biggest most successful months guys is actually doing not that much okay like it's funny because i feel like a lot of your other months you've been doing so much you've been go like there has been so much happening. There could have been a lot of changes. There could have been you doing a lot. A lot has come up. You know what I'm sensing for you guys? I feel like you've had a lot of developments. And when I say developments, I mean like people reach out to you. People want to work with you. People like a lot of people want your time. And so Spirit's trying to say, you know, you need to come back to yourself. You need some time alone. You need some time to reflect. You need some time to decide with how you want to spend the rest of the year and whether how you're spending how you've spent the first half of your year is you just need time to reflect guys you haven't even had time to do this this is what i'm channeling for you guys this is very very interesting and it's okay let's let's turn over your cards let's get some messages let's see okay Whew. i'm also really hot and i can't turn my fan on that's okay. Okay, pile number two. I feel like let's have a look at your little intuitive message. And we're going to see way more into how, why kind of making sure that your energy is more calm, more, like, I just, I just sense that you need to be still. Like, I just, that's what I am channeling for you guys. Like, some of you can't even hear your own thoughts. Like, what is going on? Message. Oh, that's why. Oh, God. Spirit wants to send you a message, okay? <laughs> you know what? Sometimes spirit, like our spirit team, or our angels, or just spirit in general, they need us to be in the right frequency in order to for us to receive messages. You're so busy. You're so... But it's... It's not a bad busy. I don't want to say that you're just constantly like whatever you're working on isn't important. It is. But there's also this big message that Spirit wants to share with you. Um, I think this message in the month of June is what it makes June really, really amazing. So if you guys can kind of, we'll see how you can tune into receiving this message from Spirit, but also what this message may be about sometimes it won't be so specific because this is general but this is so exciting for me i am getting because i love to receive messages from spirit so this is about spirit wanting you to receive a message basically so let's oh great grace is such a beautiful energy it's such a calming energy Whew. okay i'm gonna oh wow oh, oh. okay I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting really excited for you. I'm getting excited because spirit is going to be with you. Spirit wants to tap in and connect with you in the month of June. And this, this month, you may feel the presence of spirit a lot more than all the other months. So we have the healing light and we have spirit right there. Can you see that? So spirit does want you to feel this healing light it's interesting because i'm kind of sensing that this healing light wants to come through there may be something in your life that needs healing that you may be unaware of okay because you're so busy but we'll have a look but it's just oh i just feel like that's you connecting with spirit to be honest you know and it's just it's, oh, it's, so, it's going to be so graceful how you connect with spirit. It's just almost like, 
Let's let's get your angel card. Let's get your because you pick this deck. The angel of gratitude. So that is the angel that is with you right now. So this month is all about being grateful. And I think that if you guys start to be more grateful, this is where spirit's going to come in and connect with you through gratitude. Being grateful might actually shift your energy and quiet your energy and align you to receive more messages from spirit. Let's have a look. Two of Cups, relationship. So there may be a... Okay. We'll have a look at the other cards, but this, to me, could be a relationship, a significant relationship that is really important to you in the month of June. Plays a big role in all of this. But I'm also sensing that this is a relationship with spirit. Foremost, okay? Like... We'll have a look at the other cards. The Angel of Balance. Okay, it is. It is spirit, okay? <sighs> look at that. This is an angel. An angel has come in. You have two angels and you have spirit here with the healing light. And it's so gorgeous. Like, oh my goodness. Can you see? Can you see how that that? These colors are similar to this ball of healing light. So spirit is wanting you to real, like uh, realign your energy. Realign, center your energy, create some more balance in your life. And that's why you have the angel, angel of balance coming in. And it's funny because I'm also sensing two other messages. If you are in a relationship that is a little bit off balance, you may not have had much time with this person okay this if this is relationship if this resonates you may be able to start to balance your energy and to have spend more time with a significant other i'm saying significant because i kind of feel like here because it's just if you're in a relationship i feel like there is more of a need to spend more time with your your person Okay, uh, quality time maybe. Yes, more quality time. But also, with the Two of Cups, because the Two tells me that there are... Uh, I just kind of feel like you've got two cups, one cup's full and one cup's empty. That there, there needs to be two cups half full. I don't know why Spirit told me that message, but it's like you need to pour a little bit of whatever's in your cup into the other cup. And I just think that's your time and that's your energy. Okay, let's have a look. Hold us in your heart, not in your home. It's okay to declutter. Declutter. Lovely. So Spirit can't get to you because there's so much clutter in your home. See, hold us in your heart, not in your home. So spirit, spirit wants to be with you everywhere. But you may spend a lot of time at home. I am sensing that as well. Okay. Maybe you're very, maybe you work from home. Maybe there's just something that's really uh, taking a lot of your attention at home. That also could mean why you're not spending enough time in this with this person if you're in a relationship if you're single this is definitely just about building a stronger connection with spirit so spirit can give you this message i will pull probably a few other cards to kind of get what the message spirit wants to share with you but we've, we can see here there needs to be some balance in your life opportunity okay there we go there we go okay so some opportunity wants to come in into your life and you got to be careful that you don't miss it. It's funny because this opportunity card is really interesting because it's someone throwing a lot of coins in the air. So this could be money. This could be money coming to you. And that's what Spirit wants to share with you. That's why the month of June is very important. Let's have a look. Justice. Gorgeous. Whew. Justice is also about balance as well. Like I feel, yeah, 
So I'm also saying to you guys, be grateful with your finances. Start to do a gratitude list with like, I'm grateful for having enough money. I'm grateful because there is money coming in as well. I'm grateful for like being all my needs being met financially. Or I'm grateful to be able to have money to spend on whatever I want. And then we have cancer. Feeling sympathetic, comforting, nostalgia, protective, intuitive, intuitive, yeah. Caring, receptive, introverted, sentimental, family orientated. To get the two of cups with cancer. Exactly. Like cancer is a homebody. One, cancer tells me to switch on your intuition and start using your intuition. Start to maybe uh find a divination or spiritual practice where you can connect with spirit because far out look at this intuition I, and i was saying the two of cups for a lot of you is is spirit your relationship with spirit we also got a lot of home there is a lot of focus on home hold us in your heart not in your home it's okay to declutter so i'm sensing guys maybe actually you need to de cleanse your environment or your house so that spirit can come in the big thing that is focused on that spirit wants to send a message about is an opportunity. An opportunity that's going to be really, really good with the justice card. It's going to be yes. Maybe, maybe the spiritual practice is doing a gratitude list every single morning. We have nature. Okay, getting into nature. It's funny because we have the nature card with the balance. So Angel of Balance is telling you that in order for you to balance your energies, you need to get out into nature. For some of you guys, you have been in your house a lot, especially with the Cancer, because Cancer is like, for me, they're homebodies. They're family orientated. They may actually, guys, I'm also sensing if you're in a relationship, are you actually giving a lot of energy to someone? It could be the opposite. You know how I was saying before that you're not giving enough energy in a relationship? This may actually be, for some of you, that you're actually doing too much. Too much. Giving too much of your energy to other people. And you're not looking after yourself and protecting your own spiritual compass. Like, I always refer to that as <laughs> you and your connection to your higher power or your higher self. So, yeah, there is a lot about refilling your cup. You may be a Cancer as well. If you are, put a Cancer emoji in the comments. Just because we have Cancer here. Because with the Cancer, I'm also feeling like it's a very uh, receptive, moody feeling. Like you may take on the energies of the people around you at home. And that's where spirits kind of like come in and wants to heal heal you in that respect as well i'm feeling because like when you get spirit and the healing light it's spirit wanting to kind of heal and cleanse the energies around you so first and foremost in june the big things that are coming in is your connection to spirit you spirit wants to connect with you wants to help you give give you messages for an opportunity we'll have a look at this opportunity in a minute secondly you need to declutter your house. There is a focus on maybe it's the people in your house. Maybe it's you spending too much time at home and needing to get out into nature. Uh, three, I am also sensing that you may be just giving too much of yourself into a relationship. Because with the justice card, what do we have here? We have two scales that are balanced. So there is this needing need to balance your energy. And I'm thinking with the, uh, the angel of gratitude, doing a gratitude list will help you. Okay, let's get some more. I want to see a little bit about this opportunity, Spirit. What's this opportunity that Spirit wants to share with part number two in the month of June? Okay, you know, it's almost like I can, I can see Spirit trying to whisper to you. What about this? What about this? Because, but because you've been too focused on your home life or with some other relationships within your home, okay, you can't see this opportunity. All right, let's get to... I'm going to get a few other cards for you, just specifically for your group. 
All right. Okay. What is this opportunity? Ah! Okay. Maybe do some journaling as well, pile number. <sighs> it's just stepping back and like gathering, gathering your strength. Okay, we're just going to get one more. <laughs> I want to see. Let's see if spirit wants to reveal, okay? Or it may just be your your little um, connection. Spirit may not want to share it with me. Endings, completion, finished. Okay, interesting. Something is ending. Something needs to end. But this isn't a bad ending, okay? I kind of feel like... This is like you've finally finished something that you've spent a lot of time on. Maybe that's what you've been so busy with. Let's have a look. Romance, celebration, party. Yeah. Someone's having a party. Someone's having a birthday party in the month of June. I'm also sensing that whatever you're completing in June, go and celebrate. I think you will. Let's have a look. Let's get a little bit more. Knowledge. Spirit wants to share knowledge with you. Position of authority. Wow. So this could be you. Yeah, this opportunity is almost like you may be playing a different role. You may be going climbing up in your career. There is just an authority. A position of authority, which means that you have the knowledge. Maybe there is some sort of knowledge that you have in spirit saying, hey, here's the opportunity for you to share your knowledge. You're an authority in that. So it just tells me that you're becoming more important. You may be um, getting a high position in work or just being respected and known for something. It, it, it tells, does tell me that you're being chosen to do more be more than you currently are right now new beginnings fresh start pregnancy a birth and we have oh 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 sorry i am just seeing this lady okay it's usually the empress that is pregnant but can you see the two of cups here we have a relationship and then we have a lady who's pregnant so for some of you won't be for all of you you may actually be giving birth or you may actually find out that you're pregnant that could be the message that Spirit's trying to tell you, but uh, it also could be something that you're celebrating as well. That's the celebration. That's the what I was sensing. Uh, but if it's not that, we also have an ending here. But what comes after an ending? A new beginning, which is great. I think it's something to do with this this authority, this position of authority. Maybe you guys have finished a course, which then gives you this... Um, new knowledge that you have so then that actually uh you go out and you become an authority in what you've learned and that the opportunity could be something to do with like a job role i'm kind of sensing that or it just could be you taking a new direction because i also sense remember what i was channeling was i was channeling that you guys are required to step back and to reflect on how far you've come I, I do sense that you guys are juggling a lot of areas of your life, like you're ju trying to juggle your partnerships, your career, your self-care. I think that's kind of lacking a little bit, but there's a lot of juggling. <laughs> so get ready. Like what is pretty amazing about June is that You actually, okay, this is a new channel. You actually may, once you start to reflect and step away and assess, you may finally realize that, hey, something needs to end in my life. Something isn't working for me. Which then makes you start something new here. And that is why it's so big, the month of June. Because you're ending something and then you're beginning something. But yeah, there are so many different other messages as well. You just have to take what resonates. Some of you guys may actually be finding out that you're pregnant. And of course, that's a freaking big news in, in the month of June, isn't it? Uh, 
But there's a celebration and there's a party. Oh, I love your energy. Let's get your intuitive messages before we close your reading. Okay. But yeah, guys, create another vision board or something. I, it just keeps coming up for me. We have love. Yeah. Oh, I just feel like this reconnection, you know, this reconnection with a, a relationship, a current one, you know. Um, if you guys are single, I... Okay. It could be this possibility of you beginning a new relationship, okay? Especially with the new beginnings, romance, relationship, the grace card. There is definitely that opportunity with the opportunity card. I don't know whether all of you guys will take... I, I just think you're too busy. Could be though, for a few of you, okay? I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. For most of you, this is for if you're in a committed relationship, I'm sensing, okay? Or if you're already in a kind of dating or have someone in mind. We also have Spirit is sending you messages. What's keep repeating in your life? Bang. So we know Spirit really wants to connect with you, power number two. You need to clear. You need to declutter your home, I think. Decluttering could just mean making a space in your house or just the time to be by yourself okay it doesn't mean you have to declutter actual physical possessions uh it's just making the time and lighting a candle maybe or finding some sort of spiritual <sighs> it could even just be like a guided meditation or it could just be um Whatever you're into, okay, you'll find you're spiritual. You're here listening to my video. Okay, but spirit is wanting to send you messages. Let's get some other chemistry. Wow. Okay. <laughs> chemistry is about attraction. It's about connection. Okay, I'm kind of feeling like this is a relationship. You know, you have a strong chemistry here. It's deepening love, love that's deepening. It just feels really, really good. Also, this could be connect, co connecting with spirit. And it's almost like the feeling that I'm getting is like feeling at one with, with spirit. Like literally feeling at one with spirit. <laughs> it's almost like your ego is transcendent and you're just at one with consciousness. That's the energy I'm getting, guys. <laughs> Then we have show people the real you. This will lead to new opportunities. Beautiful. We have opportunity here. So, yeah, something real about you. Something that is true. Something that you connect with. Something that you're authentic. This, it's, it's almost like this isn't an opportunity that isn't um, suited to you that comes in. It's almost like... This opportunity is coming in because yeah. <laughs> you've attracted it with the chemistry card as well. Chemistry is about, it always, it always gives me this law of attraction kind of vibe. It's like what energy you are, because that's chemistry is like science, right? So the what energy frequency are you on right now? Okay, is it nervous energy? Are you in the energy of other people. This is about becoming connected to the frequency that's going to attract these opportunities. And doing that, you have to become more authentic, more real to you. And ultimately, what's really amazing is I kind of feel like the month of June is that you're coming back to yourself. You're coming back to yourself. That that That's what I can... That's basically the this big month for you and it and it's big you know it really is because it's going to bring in opportunities you're going to be ending something you're going to be beginning something becoming more of a an authority a position may become available to you and it's lovely because with this grace card i think you're going to accept this opportunity very very gracefully 
And it's almost like you're accepting this opportunity in the energy that you, <laughs> that spirit wants you to be in. I hope I'm making sense. It's really hard when spirit, ugh, really hard to kind of verbalize spirit because spirit's energy, right? Spirit is, is it's not words. <laughs> so connect to nature. Nature is where you'll hear spirit. Quiet in your mind. Try to realign you back to your who you really are because that is where all these opportunities are going to come in. You may actually realize that, hey, you know, I want to settle down with this relationship or this is relationship's going to become deeper and I want to start a family, okay? That definitely could be something. Or it's just regaining your balance in June is going to bring you so much and it's probably going to help you with the rest of your year. So part number two, I'm going to leave your reading there. I really hope something resonated. If you guys like my energy or just would like more readings like this, make sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Okay. Pile number three, my last pile. Welcome to your reading. I am drawn to this pile. I am going to be with you guys. What are we looking at? We are looking at why the month of june is one of your best months this year we're going to be using tarot oracle and intuitive messages i'm also going to be tapping into your energy to channel any messages from spirit because i'm highly clairsentient which means i feel your energies the energy of, of the cards as well this is a little pocket intuitive message i love doing these i don't know why i just um they're just so exciting and the messages always connect with all the cards so perfectly so i will read your message when i feel the time is right but let's tap into your energy let's channel let's see why the month of june is pretty powerful and pretty big month this year okay all right oh okay i'm getting auditory messages a lot for this reading i just got to take a rain check take a rain check so you're putting off something because you don't want to waste time on it. Or you don't want to invest your time in it. So you're like, I can't do it right now. And it's not just the put off till the next weekend or the next day. I just got like, you're actually literally going to be taking a rain check for a couple months or a year. Like, I don't know. This is, this is fascinating. Okay. It could just be taking some space or taking some time away. Um... Okay, what else, Spirit? Let me, I just really want to tap in. Uh, okay, okay, ooh, okay. I am getting a man, okay? I'm getting a vision of a man. This may be you if you're listening, if you're a male. Um, or it could be someone in your life. But I am getting a person channeling. He's coming through. He's just in casual wear as well. Like, he's dressed casually. Um... Yeah, you know, who knows? This could be a um, spirit guide. This could be someone that is very important to you. We'll get more context when we have a look at the cards. What else, spirit? Um, okay. But pile number three. Okay, it is. It really is. Oh, my God. I, I'm a little bit shocked at the moment because my energy is just... Okay, so it is someone. I've had this happen in my reading once before where like a guide or someone that has crossed over has come in to give the messages. Um, it's not just directly from spirit. It's actually someone that you used to know or someone... For a lot of you, it's someone that you used to know. This is very interesting. Okay. Um, okay. Ugh. I try not to cry because the energy is really emotional. So it makes me feel like you guys know this person. I know that a lot of you won't have had people pass away. If it's not, it's they're in your energy anyway. It's, it's this person. It, it is a boy. Okay. The age is, is giving me about 15, 16. 17 maybe uh they're kind of like in skater gear 
And basically why they're coming through pile number three is to cheer you on. They, they told me like, okay, you need to take a risk or you need to do it. There is something that you need to do basically. And they're coming in as a motivator. They're coming in to kind of like push you. Basically they're here to push these messages to you, which I will do. Uh, very, very interesting. They may have liked to ride a skateboard. I, I just feel like it's like the image, you know, those teenagers that wear like skate socks and like, uh, uh. Oh, this could just be a guide, you know, but, okay. Let's see what this, this boy has to say to you. All right, yeah, what you want to say, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. <sighs> Far out. Sorry, it's really intense. I'm just, I told you I read energy, so I really have to kind of wind my energy in. So he's trying to say, you need for me to talk sense into you talk sense into you about something, okay? Uh, what else, Spirit, okay? What else can we channel? All right, we know we have a boy guide or a boy that is used to be in your life and some... And some. What else, Spirit? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, he said money and I know we have the daughter value here which has got money on it so this could be something to do financially financial decision um work related career we'll keep we'll just keep seeing really want to tap in because I think the channeling is really important and significant here so just bear with me I'm just gonna try to see what comes through oh wow Guys, I'm actually literally getting like a sensation on the top of my head. So it's kind of like uh, where you, okay, the sensation. Also, if you don't know with Claire Sentine is I feel things within my body. So like maybe I'll get tingling or I'll hear pitch so sounds in my ears, okay? What I am feeling at the top of my head right now is like when you put a balloon, one of those... Hell, those balloons where, where you rub it on your head and it, and, it, and it makes your hair stick up. That's what I'm feeling on the top of my head. Uh, okay, it could be that boy. <laughs> Alright, I just want to get some messages, Spirit. Okay. What else for pile number three? For the month of June. Okay, month of June. Okay, all right, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. This boy is from a past life. I I just, for some of you, like I just got this vision of this, you know, era of like the 1500s or the 1800s, like it's that kind of era. So this boy may, but, but he's wearing skate clothes, which is very bizarre. He's not wearing old fashioned clothes. This is just, just this is mind boggling for me. I haven't had this kind of channel coming through in a reading before. So the cards are gonna gonna help us with this. This is new to me, okay? What else, spirit? Uh, I don't know, some of you guys can you are you actually trying to go like figure out who you were in a past life or are you trying to connect maybe with other energies or because I'm I'm feeling your energy so I'm sensing maybe you guys have a sensitive to to your spirit guides or to those that have crossed over maybe you guys are psychics maybe you guys are like you actually can connect with people that are passed over that's probably maybe what I'm tapping into Let's just get your cards, because your cards are going to really help us. And it's interesting, because this is all happening in the month of June. Wow. Okay, Spirit, we just need two more cards. Hmm. Alright, sorry, I'm just a little bit taken, I'm a little bit shaky, because like, 
feeling all these um things all over my body. Uh, okay, let's get you one more card. One more card for pile number three. I feel drawn to give you one of these cards. Okay. <sighs> these two came out. These two came out. You know what? I'm going to leave those cards, okay? So you've got two of them. And we have children. Interesting. Okay, but so maybe this is a child. Ugh. This is such... Okay. Guys, I'm just going to pull your... Oh, it is. Oh, <laughs> no. I knew this. Okay. If you don't know me, how I receive my messages is through animals. Okay? Animal spirits, elementals, all that kind of stuff. All right? And it's interesting them having these psychosomatic symptoms you know i'm actually getting downloads like and i feel like you have this ability as well part number three okay so uh, i know that this child isn't a animal obviously um but they may want to give you a message as well part number two had their spirit team coming in to give them messages but for you i am sensing you may actually have spiritual gifts or your spirit team who are animals okay or they could just be fairies or they could be like elementals like they're just, just you you do have them with you because to get this card they're with you they may be trying to give you some sort of message with a child. If you have a child that's passed over, they're trying to connect with you. Big time. Ugh. We also have be free walk away release. So. Oh. oh God. Okay. I know this isn't going to be for all of you, this because like, because this is such a big, um, it's going to see a lot of people, but this is very, 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 very specific message. Okay. This child wants you to not, or oh, wants you not to be restricted or feel like uh, you're still holding on to them with the with this cage here and see this bird it's kind of like being released so they want you to be released in some way okay um from them and some sort of, sort of attachment that you have with them but let's get your cards we have justice beautiful <sighs> regardless whether it's this boy or the animals they want justice for you they want something <sighs> they may want to to hint you into a particular direction or they may want to basically they want to make sure that you're safe they want to make sure that you're okay they they really really love you or they have your best interest at heart practicalities we have more finances here so something big about money you guys may actually be able to make money through connecting with your animal guides that's huge here as well, especially because I chose this freaking pile. I said, oh, I'm with pile number three. So you may be able to receive messages. And there is something here about being able to boost your finances. If you are working in the spiritual field, there is more opportunities to boost your finances. Yeah. Okay. I just want to get your tarot. Let's have a look. The world. Wow. The world. And I, oh my. Okay. I'm just going to cry. Why? Because look at this. Can you see all the animals on the world card? That is so unusual to have the world card. And a lot of animals. So you are protected and you're guided by your animals. And.
said, you may be able to connect with people that have passed away through your animal guides. They may be trying to help you see. Oh, that you have psychic visions. That you have abilities, spiritual gifts. Ooh, Aphrodite's love spell. Gorgeous, okay? <laughs> Wow. This is just like increasing your your attractiveness basically. Um also just because it's a spell, I am sensing that you you may you actually may um dabble in spell work. Just because we're talking about everything spiritual and spiritual gifts. Yes. So there may be some spells or something. Maybe you can make more money through creating certain spells. It's giving me witchy vibes as well. But uh, let's get some more. Authenticity. Your truth. Look at this. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Also with the completion card. It kind of tells me that you guys are stepping into a new era. Okay. A new stage of your life. A new cycle. Just something new that is big. And it could be you wanting to make more money. Or make it an actual full-time job if you guys are working. If your job is, you know, a tarot reader or a psychic or a, you know, what are some other divinate, like any sort of divination practices. Spirit is telling me with the world is that you can... You can have this new cycle. And it's something that you truly are. It's something that you're naturally gifted with. That just comes. That you're, you may actually start to figure out. Look at that. Far out. <sighs> what are we saying? Spiritual partnership. There you go. I'm getting really like. And it's purple here. So far out. So this boy or what, whoever this person was that came up in my vision was is trying to encourage you to to do what what is naturally naturally comes to you. I think for some of you, you already know. You already know that you have spiritual gifts. You already know that you are really you're. For some of you, you guys are a medium because I'm. I'm just I. I'm getting people coming through. Uh, also, with the Be Free Walk Away release, I think something is going to come to an end because you realize, you know, I want to do what I'm, what I'm already natural at with the authentic card. Okay, I want to start to make this a full-time job. I want to make this a career. This is my purpose, especially with the will. The will? I said the wheel. The wheel. I meant the world, but I said the wheel. Interesting. So the wheel in tarot for me is the wheel of fortune. So definitely cycles are, are ending, okay? You are stepping into maybe a new spiritual business. Could be that, especially with all the money here. And also we have Sun and Taurus. You may be a Taurus. Practicalities. So it's interesting how we've got the practic the practical aspect and then we've got the spiritual aspect. So it's almost like you making something practical out of your spiritual gifts and making money out of it. Complexity irritates, puzzles, mystifies, complicates, contradicts, clashes, misses the marks. Okay, complexity. Let's have a look at this card here. The loving woman. 
Ooh, that's you. I honestly feel like that's you. Usually there is a card in the in the spread that represents the person I'm ready for. Regardless if you're a male or if you're a female, this card is you. <sighs> the compli the complexity card is interesting because it's literally what I am feeling for this pile. It's been such a complex puzzle your your energy okay and it, it often is if you are a psychic or if you have spiritual gifts it's really hard <laughs> to, to put to put your messages oh well it's been hard to put these messages give these messages to you okay it kind of feels so complex and like a puzzle and like you've got this alien ufo here which definitely tells me that this is kind of like out of this freaking world uh, but we also got transforms, educates, makes curious. Whatever you do, pile number three, it's a puzzle to people. It's almost like, how did they do that? Or where do they get those messages from? Or where does it come from? Or what is this? It's confusing. You know what I mean? It's, it's like complex to people. Usually people that don't have these gifts. So it's like... Yeah, I kind of feel like it's other people around you. I want to get some more information, Kyle. So this is all about what's happening in the month of June. So, guys, you can... If you if you don't have spiritual gifts, I honestly don't think this is your pile. You can see how, how specific this is. You guys may start to get quite curious, because we have makes curious... Some of you guys may be like, hey, really? I have these gifts? Ooh, okay. Let me maybe try to work on them or, you know, try to develop them as well. All right, let's get some more messages. I want to get a few more. I'm starting with your intuitive messages. Okay, so this is why the month of March is going to be really big. Yes, it is. I just saw a number sequence. Okay, guys, Spirit speaks to me with number sequences. Okay, look at this. We have 10 and then we have 11. So it just tells me the way to more money is being authentic. And you are naturally spiritually inclined. So that is more of your authentic truth. And that is where you get your justice. Justice, I just feel like, is more money for you for some reason. <laughs> or... Like you're going to be receiving no it's it's money it's it's freaking money 100 percent. you're making more money in june doing what you love doing what is authentic to you let's get some of your intuitive messages and then i might get you some other cards because i feel like i want to i'm gonna give you these ones guys i'm gonna give you this and I am going to give you this deck here. Okay, so let's start with your intuitive messages. We have, there are secrets being hidden from you. Soon you'll find out something important that you need to know. Wow. Wow. Okay. You're going to find something out. Does that mean it is your gifts? Okay. Mastering crafts. Manship on a skill or hobby that will take up all your spare time. You will be taking interest in the next stage. Possible recognition if you share your skill. That is your spiritual gift. It is. Also, guys, with the complexity, I'm also channeling that sometimes you may be really good at it, or there is just. Uh, you're very good at abstract thinking, okay? Or complex ideas, or just, just something really, really difficult. You're really good at it here with the mastery card. Go crazy, lighten up, you're taking life too seriously, okay? So make sure, make sure to take time out for you, not to, 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 not to see this as a chore or to see this as work. I know that there is a lot of potential here for you to build a spiritual business or to really develop your spiritual gifts, but make sure that you are still this energy here because this is how you will connect with spirit through your innocent, through your childlike energy. 
your inner child is where we kind of connect with spirit, okay? So make sure you don't lose that. Great things are coming. Amazing. I also felt like that with that boy that came through. Wanted to tell you something. Wanted to encourage you. Great things are coming. So let's get a few of your little intuitive messages. Oh, it's money. I am worthy and deserving of wealth. Connected. You're connected to spirit. I'm sorry, but you are connected to your animal guides, spirit guides. And then we have here. So you guys may be making more money and you're able to spend. Reward yourself. Okay. Let's get two of these cards before we finish off your reading. Pound of three. I hope there's something out of that reading. Those messages were... Came out very uh, complex. I'm just going to say that. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I just saw that card. And then we have... Oh, that's way too many. I just want two more. The pile number three. Spirit. We have meditation brings answers. Yes. Yes. Okay, maybe a meditation practice for you to develop connecting with your animal guides or your, you know, or the fairies or whatever coming through. Okay, what? trust, trust that you do, trust that you do have spiritual gifts. I'm telling you, you freaking do. And look, you're ready. You're ready. Okay, for some of you, you may already know that you do have them, but you're just like, okay, I need to take it to the next level now. I can actually make this a career. Or I can, I, I'm ready to to go to the next stage, basically, especially with the mastery and the craftsmanship. Yes. Possible recognition if you share your skill. And I kind of feel like that's this love spell. It's almost like you cast a spell on other people as well because you're so good at it. I kind of feel like you're protected as well with this card. This is giving me like this protection from your animal guides. So part number three, they were your amazing messages for the month of June. Whoa, I think I'm going to have to take a, <laughs> I'm going to have to take a debrief with that one because uh, that was pretty big. Okay. If you guys resonate with anything in that reading, feel free to leave a comment, subscribe for further pick a card readings on my YouTube. And I hope to see you there.